There are so many buildings you can place in Sanji Valley and sometimes making the choice as to which building you should prioritize can sometimes be annoying. The coop and the barn are definitely useful buildings but what about the slime hutch? Do we really need the slime hutch in Sanji Valley? Today's video is going to discuss what the slime hutch provides, what you can do with the slime hutch, and why I believe it is one of the most useful buildings in Sanji Valley and what else you should replace it with if you were going to use the space for the slime hutch. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with some information on how to build the slime hutch. The slime hutch will cost you 10,000 gold, 500 stone, 10 refined quartz, and 1 iridium bar to build. The slime hutch's main purpose is to grow and foster up to 20 slimes on your farm. When placing it on your farm, it'll take up 11 by 6 tile spots on your farm, which means it's the single most biggest building to place down on your farm. So for something that takes up so many spaces, what can we do within it? After Robin has finished the slime hunt, Marlon will meet you at your doorstep to tell you that he has also taken care of slimes when he was a youngin, and he'll give you the first slime egg for your slime hutch. When walking into the slime hutch, you should see a slime incubator on the top left. This is used to hatch your slime eggs when they're found in your gameplay. When a slime egg is placed in here, it'll take about 2-3 to three days to incubate into a slime. You can craft more of these if needed, but you will need to be combat level 8 to be able to get the recipe for this. You can actually remove this from the slime hutch and place it on your farm, and it will still take 2-3 to three days to incubate a slime and the slime will start running around on your farm. You can either stick with this decision or it is best to keep them within the slime hutch. There are four different kinds of slime eggs that you can get, and each of these correspond to the colored slime that you may kill to get them from. For example, a green slime when killed has a chance to drop your green slime egg, just like a red slime will have a chance to drop your red slime egg. Additionally, there is a fifth slime egg that you can find, and that is with the 1.5 update. You can either get it from a chance of dropping from tiger slimes in the volcano, or from the slimes found on the west side of Ginger Island. Not only do slimes have a chance to drop their corresponding slime egg, but there is a chance to find purple and red slime eggs in the treasure rooms in the skull cavern. And if you have a fish pond with slime jack fish in there, they will also have a chance to drop you green slime eggs when the population of that pond reaches 9. Better yet, when you reach combat level 6, you can actually get the recipe for a slime egg press, which when you use 100 slime in there, it'll have a chance to produce one of the four normal slime eggs. And those chances are green at 64%, blue at 21%, red at 9.5% and purple at 5%. So keep your slimes and put them in the slime egg press if you're going to keep a slime hutch. So if you have a whole bunch of slimes, you can place them in the slime egg press and continuously increase your chances of getting better slimes within your slime hutch. Within the slime hutch to the right, there are four water troughs and these need to be watered as often as possible. You can either use your watering can or better yet, place some sprinklers within and these will continuously keep the water troughs watered. The reason being, if you have five slimes within your slime hutch and at least one water trough watered, slime balls within the slime hutch will start to produce on a daily basis. Simply click on the slime ball for multiple slimes to appear and you may have a rare chance to find a petrified slime within it as well. The petrified slime can only have two uses give it into Gunther and once you do you can start selling them. Likewise the slime produced from these slime balls can be accumulated to make even more slime eggs or you can sell them as well. Once you start getting a decent amount of slimes in your slime hunt, you might want to consider getting the slime charmer ring from the adventure guild after killing a thousand slimes from the monster eradication goal. Not only will the slime charmer ring prevent you from getting damage from the slimes, but will also protect you from the slime debuff that slimes give you. So what's the reason for having a slime hunch? Not only can you have 20 slimes housed within it, but let's say you have too many slimes and not enough space for your slime eggs to hatch, you can actually sell the slime eggs instead. Each color will differ in price because of its rarity. So for example, a green slime egg is 1000 gold, a blue slime egg is 1750 gold, a red slime egg is 2500 gold, and a purple slime egg is 5000 gold. But yet, if you get your hands on a tiger slime egg, you can sell that for 8000 gold. After incubating a slime egg, there should be a notification on your bottom left that will tell you if a male or female has been produced from that egg. 
And after some time, if the male and female are interested in each other and begin mating, they have a chance to produce you another slime. The color and the gender of that slime will be randomly chosen. Now after all the discussion of the slime hunch, I still don't believe there's much of a benefit with getting a slime hunch compared to the other buildings you can get in Stardew Valley. Now obviously if you want some variety then go ahead with the slime, but this is why I believe the slime hunch is not that useful compared to the other buildings and some other things that you can use with that space instead. So number one, and I had to put this as number one, is that space that the slime hunch covers can place two sheds instead. As someone that places down sheds all the time in their playthrough, I can see the use of sheds being more useful than the slime hunch. Not only can you just place them and then use the space within, but you can upgrade them into big sheds. The actual shed when placed on your farm only takes a 7 by 3 space. But the space within the big shed is actually 17 by 12 tiles. Which means you can place so many machines in there just to make you that money. For example, and this is my number one thing that I do with my first shed, is filling in that shed with kegs. Using this optimal layout, you can place 137 kegs within the shed. So if we make that calculation, turning a rhubarb into a wine will take 7 days, and producing 137 rhubarb wine will sell you just over 90,000 gold. Which means you can make so much more money from the sheds compared to what the slime hunch was producing. And that was just from rhubarb. Change that into star fruit, ancient fruit, or even pumpkins, and you'll be making so much more money weekly. Let's say you don't want to use the kegs and instead you find yourself mining some more. Why not use the space within the shed to do half furnaces and half of them chrysalariums? Mine yourself plenty of gold or iridium ore, or better yet, produce yourself a whole lot of diamonds with the crystallariums. You could sell the bars and the diamonds on a weekly basis to be making you some decent dollars during the week. Better yet, and this is something I definitely suggest, why not fill a whole shed full of crystallariums? You can either produce yourself things for the desert trader such as jade for staircases and rubies for a spicy eel, but my most preferred item in the crystallariums is diamonds. Or if you don't want to go that intense with your sheds, you could use a mixture of things within your sheds. Why not use it as a multi-use area? You can put your chairs, your furnaces, and any other machines you prefer in there. And that is why I definitely suggest using the space instead for some sheds. Okay, okay, let's get off the shed talk. Let's talk about what else we can use that space for. We can just about fit a coop and a barn in that space. Even though we go off one tile, I would still suggest that a coop in a barn is much more useful for that spacing. Better yet, you can upgrade the coops in the barns and use the space within them, just like we did with the sheds. For example, here is a little design I decided to do in this barn while one of my cows was looking out for me. You don't necessarily have to do this if you don't like the look, but let's say you don't have the money or the space or even the resources to put a shed down, and you've already got yourself a coop in a barn, definitely consider using up the space somewhat like this for your machines until you have the right spacing for your machines. Next up, and this is a preference, but you can actually place two ponds within this space as well. For example, in one of my late game playthroughs, I have five fish ponds with stingrays in them which are from Ginger Island in the 1.5 update. Not only do I use them for their row, but they have a chance of dropping battery packs, cinder shots, and even dragon tooth. I would definitely recommend checking out other fish including rainbow trout, super cucumber, and blobfish. Because not only turning their row into age row will make you some decent money, but the items that they produce are also really useful. And lastly, let's say you don't want to put any buildings in this area, you could just put down some machines instead. I was able to put down 46 kegs in this design to make me my wines. And then I also decided to use 46 furnaces instead to make this design as well. You can use any other machines or any other items to place within this space. But I would definitely suggest that these four options that I suggested are way more better than the slime hutch. Not only does it take up too much space on the farm, but it doesn't produce me enough money during the week. The slime hunch is more of like a cool building that you can place on your farm if you wanted to do something different or if you prefer just incubating some slimes if that's your preference. But if you want to better utilize your farm and make more money then I definitely suggest turning away from the slime hunch and doing something else. And that is today's video. Thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you next time. Stay safe. Take care.